Taylor was founded by the railroad. That's why we're here. Is the railroad came through in 1876, and before that, the uh, the city, uh, Williamson County's seat was in Georgetown, and uh, everyone thought that the railroad would get there first, but it got to Taylor first. And one of the reasons that it did was because there were huge uh, cattle ranches in this area, and the uh, railroad saw an opportunity to uh, be able to ship that cattle. As the 1900s progressed through, uh, Taylor grew to be a major city, a major area of commerce for all of the agricultural area. So up until I think 1970 uh, is when uh, the, really the, down, the decline started. And a lot of that happened because of economics in the area. There was lots of uh, turmoil in the agricultural industry in the early uh, 1970s. And also because of the big box stores that started coming in and drawing, uh, drawing business away from downtown. Walmart is a good store. It's, it's fine, but when it comes to a town, it kills the main part of the town. Everybody goes to Walmart, and we're used to everything was downtown, the dry goods stores and the hardware stores and grocery stores, and now it's everything under one roof. Everything is moving out in the north part of town, and, and uh, uh, I, I, I think it's going to hurt it has already hurt downtown here, and it'll even hurt more in time to come, I think. The largest thing we have is Walmart. Uh, a lot of smaller businesses have moved in, and a lot of population. Uh, still, a lot of our people go to Austin to work. Uh, so we need some bigger corporations to, so people can work at home. I don't know that there's been a downturn. Many of your businesses here, of course, moved closer to I-35 as the I-35 corridor developed. And consequently, new businesses have come in and helped the city grow. And, you know, given that, you saw a, a small lag, if you will, in commerce in Taylor. Uh, but certainly that's picked back up in the present day and, and is, is, is flourishing. We know that empty buildings don't attract people downtown. We want them to be full. Uh, we'd like for people to take care of the buildings and not abuse them, not neglect them. Uh, old buildings are hard to take care of. They, they've been around a long time, but we feel like because they've been ar around a long time, they deserve a lot of care and attention. Taylor's really turning around. It's uh, that we've gotten a real good uh, foothold in uh, uh, the restoration of downtown because people realize uh, the, the wonderful architecture needs to be preserved and can be used in a lot of different ways. We have people living above stores and lofts. Uh, we have people who started uh, their first businesses. We have long-term businesses who've moved here. We have some artisans who've also moved here. And so uh, things are really changing in Taylor. The cost of living is great here. You know, I can't say enough good things about the town. Uh, I'm also, you know, helping working with uh, the local economic development. They're putting Temple College is bringing a welding program here. So uh, we're getting asked to be involved in some of these other projects that they're doing, which that's a, it's a highlight, it's, you know something we enjoy being able to do. You know, everybody's friendly out here, and that's one thing, you know, when we were in Pflugerville, we were just, we were just a tax ID number. You know, uh, where the economic development, these people, they know who we are. You know, the local bank here, we moved our banks here, and they know who we are. So it's, it, uh, it still has that home, hometown small feeling, so you feel that, you know, sense of belonging. If I can emphasize nothing else, let me emphasize that Taylor is a self-controlled city. Uh, contrary to many of the cities in the area that call themselves cities, there are simply going to be towns that will ultimately end up as suburbs of Round Rock or Austin. I don't think you'll see that in Taylor. I think what you'll see is a self-contained area uh, where people are proud to live and work. You know, it's kind of quiet out here. Again, uh, people think, well, oh, Taylor's like 50 miles out of Austin. You know, I, it's a way out, but it's not. It's not that far out. And uh, while we would certainly welcome people to come out and take a look at the city, We'd ask them to, to take time and walk around and consider even more. Our historic downtown, uh, our beautiful areas that we're growing, uh, we have an extremely large park system for a town this size. We really work on trying to recruit new industry to come to Taylor. That's our primary job. We also work on a lot of projects that really are just looking at the quality of life in Taylor and how can we improve this community. The better this community is, the easier it's going to be to attract new industry to come here. I want the town to grow, but you know some parts of it I, I hope that they keep in mind and try to have some sort of continuity to the town, uh, industrial in one area. So I don't want them to grow too fast 
to where that gets out of control and there isn't enough planning involved in doing that. But uh, yeah, I'd like to see the town grow. I think it benefits everybody here. We're comfortable with our three to four, maybe 5% annual growth rate uh, because it gives us the ability to, to grow smartly and, and to grow in a manner that we have planned out and that we can deal with. Taylor has the richest urban fabric perhaps in all central Texas. This used to be a center of, of shopping and commerce and, and, and just a great place for people to gather. And you know, ever since I-35 came through, people moved away from here and over to Georgetown and Round Rock grew. But now with 130, I think it's all gonna come back. And fortunately for them, they've got this urban fabric of beautiful buildings and streets. Um, we're just about to put money into, into refurbishing their streets, um, doing nice street lights instead of these old uh, metal deals um, that, that are ugly and we'll get rid of the lines, get rid of the flooding downtown. And then, you know, the business community can come in and take advantage of that, restore these old, beautiful, historic buildings, and, and Taylor's going to be a neat place to be again.